In this video, I wanna show you how to import colors and typography from a Figma theme. But before we do that, let me show you how it has to be set up in Figma for this import to work. So by default, Figma doesn't generate type styles and colors from your design. And that's a good thing because typically designers will be doing many iterations on the design. And so you'll have lots of colors and type styles that they were working with, which aren't gonna make it into the final design. So if you get a Figma file, but it doesn't have all the type and colors set out correctly, here's how you do it. So I'm just in a blank Figma file right here. And what we're looking for is these local styles right here. So I could click on this right here and add a style. What Flutterflow is gonna import is the text styles and the color styles. But because you're gonna be working with a theme from your designers, let me show you how to add these from the designs themselves. So let's say you've got a shape right here with a color. And let's just change it to something that's easier to see. You can see these local styles when nothing is selected. So when you select it, you see all the properties, but you just need to unselect it and then you can see your local styles. So what you wanna do is select the object whose color you wanna to add to the design system. Go over to the fill and to these four dots right here, open it up, and then you can just plus to add it to your design system. You can give it a color and create style. So now if we deselect that, we can see in our design system, we now have color styles and our red one. So let's do the same thing with type. So let's grab this, let's put something in here. Let's make it a little bit bigger and zoom in a little bit. And the same thing, go over to these dots right here, add the style, give it a name and create style. And now we've got a text style and a color style. Okay, great, so that's all good. But for our input, let me use a fully fleshed out UI design to give a more real life example of how this works. So here I've got the banking app that we're gonna be building with all the different pages, both web and mobile, and nothing selected now. So you can see I've got all of my type and all of my colors down here. And of course, if you wanna get rid of any of these things, you can just select it and backspace delete it. Okay, so now let's import this into our design system in Flutterflow. So we're gonna need two things. We're gonna need the URL of the Figma file and we're gonna need an access token. So let me show you how to get that access token. You wanna go back to your main Figma dashboard and come up into the top right into your account and settings and scroll down to personal access tokens. And this is gonna be for our bank app. So just give it a name. It really doesn't matter what you call it. And when you hit enter, you'll be given your access token. You won't be able to see this again after you generate it. So make sure you copy it down, but you're probably only gonna use it once. So let's copy this token. And now you're ready to go into Flutterflow. All right, so let's import our Figma theme. I'm gonna put in that access token and the URL and import the theme. This should just take a few seconds. All right, so first it will handle the import of the colors. And so here's all the colors that it took from those local styles. And so even if you had excess colors in there you didn't want, you can get rid of them here before we map them into our main theme colors. Because in our next screen, we're gonna do the mapping. So let's import and continue. And so here's where we map it. So what you wanna do is you wanna go into each color, so this primary one right here, and you'll be able to search through those colors. These are the ones from Figma. And so you can go down and select the ones that you want. And of course you can add any utility colors you want and do your dark mode. Okay, that's great, save and continue. And once again, in these last steps, we're gonna do the same thing, but with typography. Remove any styles you don't want, continue. And now here's the mapping. So we've got title one, and once again, these are coming from Figma and you can just map them how you want, boom. And when you're done, save and finish, great. So now all our color and all our type is mapped from Figma. 